Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to read for Libra. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So seven days from the date that you watch it. I, this is being recorded on the 21st, so you could say the 21st through the 28th, okay, or seven days from the date that you watch it. So what do we have for Libra? Rabbit. Ooh. Too much concern with sexual matters. So there may be too much concern with sexual matters this week. Rabbit. Be careful. There's probably a lot of breeding going on. <laughs> uh, too much concern with sexual matters. So that's a big concern this week. So what do we got for Libra for the next seven days? What do we got for Libra? Drama queen. And I'm not sure if you had this before. I think that you did. You could be dealing with a drama queen this week. Could be a Leo. Could be. Uh, what else do we have for Libra? Or somebody that has Leo in their chart. Okay, strong Leo placement in their chart or Leo energy, whatever. Drama queen. We have fantasy land here. So we got somebody that is living in fantasy land. Let's get one more card for Libra. could have something to do with a Taurus. Taurus is prominent here this week. Interesting. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Go figure. Your soulmate is, maybe you think your soulmate's a Taurus and that's not the case. Maybe your soulmate's a Leo. I don't know. Uh, so, what else do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? <clears throat> this is going to need to ground yourself. Come out of fantasy land. You need to be practical, okay? Taurus is about practical. It's about grounded reality. We have fantasy land right before that. Somebody needs to ground themselves. What do we have? What do we have for Libra? Ooh. There you go. It's your card now, isn't it? it? Looks like the justice card to me. It says contract. This is probably karmic contract. You may be involved in some sort of karmic contract. That's probably where we're at. I feel like there's going to be something to do with the contract this week. It has to do with Taurus or a Leo. Um, there's a need to act with integrity, to do the right thing, to uh, be honest with yourself. I feel like you need to be honest. You need to really open your eyes and they see the facts. In that card and in many of the Justice cards, I'm getting cold so I don't know what's going on. But in many of the Justice cards, you know, and in this one, you know, there's a blindfold on somebody's, you know, it's all about the facts, okay? You need, to, you need to really honor the facts. You need to honor the truth, okay? So I do believe there's some sort of truth that is, that is uh, probably coming out. And you may have to make a decision. You may have to make a decision based on the facts without uh, letting your emotions or your fantasy or your illusions get in the way. So what do we have for Libra? You could be dealing with a drama queen that is too concerned with sexual matters. May not be you. That drama queen is right next to the rabbit. So it could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. There is somebody here that is too concerned with sexual matters. It, it, it may not be you. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Leo. It could be this drama queen. Somebody is too, too concerned. Imagine imagine so I am gonna go ahead and read that card because I've done it for everybody else let me just go ahead and grab it 
Imagine, turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity and illusions. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life that you want? You are gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help, to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What you imagine does become your belief. Doesn't it now? It does. It does. Okay, it becomes your belief. And soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into the reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating, about relating. So step on into the dance floor or onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation the message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life this is a powerful time to get clear on how you create your prosperity, what it means to you to be prosperous and what attributes you need to develop in yourself to make things happen who do you need to be to live out your dreams? Can you imagine the kind of life you desire? Really, really, really imagine it without holding back the sheer force of your powers of creativity. If you can envision it, you can have it. Get ready for prosperity. Get ready for prosperity is waiting for you to claim it now. Act as if your dreams really will come true. Illusions and wishful thinking rooted in a sense of lack have entered your life. Now, now may be the time to see things as they truly are and not as, as you hoped or imagined they would be. That's what we got here. Release any fear because like I said you got to be honest with yourself. That's what I said. You need to come out of fantasy land. It's interesting that that imagine is here. Maybe maybe we got somebody here that is going overboard. Illusions and wishful thinking no, rooted in a sense of lack. So if it starts in a sense of lack, have entered your life. You may be. You may be, now may be, now may be the time to see things as they truly are and not, not as, as you hoped or imagined they were be, would be. Release any fear, then, in, then envision anew. Perhaps you are anticipating that something fearful might happen and recreating that image of disaster over and over in your, in your mind. No matter what, illusions and awfulizing, so if you're awfulizing something, are a misuse. There's a misuse of imagination here. Clear the inner state and stay grounded. I did say that. You need to ground yourself. Stay real. Only then can you truly have what you desire. Interesting, okay? You see, it says it at the bottom. You have to stay real. You have to stay real. It's great to imagine and to daydream and fantasize about things, but you've got to be practical and real as well. Okay. So what do we have for Libra? I feel like this is a week of daydreaming. You're going to be daydreaming. You may be fantasizing about somebody that you're in some sort of contract with or that you've been in a contract with. 
I feel like you need to come back down to reality. You need to come out of fantasy land. I do believe that, you know, your thoughts become things and that you are very powerful at this time. But I feel like you need to be practical, okay? So it's very interesting. Um, what do we have? What do we have for... Oh, there we go. Libra. Seven of Wands. Whoops. Put that over. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed. And the Queen of Wands reversed. Whoever you are dealing with, I feel like you're in, this is a belief. This is where, this is your overall energy, the Seven of Wands. So, stand, not giving up, holding on. This is refusing to budge. Sorry, I just put my hand in the chair. Uh, refusing to budge. Um, standing your ground in a tough position, fighting for something, unwilling to give up. I feel like you're unwilling to give up your stance on something. You are... Uh, Unwilling. I feel like you're feeling attacked as well. Maybe, maybe you're under attack because maybe people are attacking you. They're attacking your beliefs or they're attacking you in some way. You're feeling attacked. You're in a position where you're needing to fight for whatever it is that you believe in. I feel like you are, we got this side and we got this side. I feel like right now you are holding on to something that feels secure to you. I feel like it's made you feel secure. The first card out in your position is the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Swords reverse is right underneath it in the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is, is a fresh start. It's an exciting new beginning. It's a new vision. It's a new desire. But, but the Knight of Swords reverse could be uh, not very logical. Maybe there's a lack of logic or moving too fast or... Um, untrustworthy i'm not sure if you there's some sort of untrustworthy distrustful maybe you don't trust you don't trust um, i do feel like being attacked i feel like you're 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 really feeling attacked that's in your energy knight of swords reversed you're, you may be I mean, the Knight of Swords reverse is like a dispute. It's a fight. It's under attack. Right next to the Seven of Wands, that's an attack as well. I feel like you're definitely in a position where you're holding on to something, unwilling to let go. There's a need to... Start anew with that Ace of Wands, okay? There's a need to start anew. That's You have an exciting, this could be a new sexual part, partner. There's a new exciting opportunity that is waiting for you. There's a new match here, okay? But the, the Knight of Swords reverse is clueless energy. It's somebody that is a know-it-all, that is ignorant. No offense, okay? The Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody that is refusing to look at things open-mindedly. It feels like you're set. You're set in, in, in something and you need to be more open-minded. You need to get a new vision, okay? You need to step, step forward. The Ace of Wands is an exciting new beginning. So it feels like you have an opportunity to start over. For me, the Ace of Wands is really a fresh start. It's a start over. You have an opportunity, okay, to start over. But you're holding on to something for dear life that made you feel secure at one time. And, it, and I'm not sure that it's the right decision with the Knight of Swords reverse. I'm, it's not very logical. It's, it's refusing. It's like, I feel like it's like, I don't want to let go. I've made up my mind. Uh, I mean, the Knight of Swords reverse is somebody that does stuff without thinking or isn't thinking it through, that isn't very open-minded, may not be very logical, isn't very... You know, this person is ignorant, a know-it-all that uh, may even have some sort of, I'm just being honest, the Knight of Swords reverse may be a mental imbalance, you know. They're in, in, we go through mental imbalances in our lifetime, okay. I, I would say that probably everybody does. I feel like there's some sort of, um, I'm just going to get another card on that Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So it's about reciprocation. It's about getting what you deserve. Not very logical. I feel like you're not being very logical about what you deserve. I feel like you need to uh, 
focus on yourself. I think that you need to focus on self-love. What do you deserve? Don't you deserve love? I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody that is insincere. They may already have an, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're asking about has another woman or has another man. There's another person here. There is, there is. I feel like you, I think that you need to listen to your intuition. I feel like you have a lot of feelings for somebody. You you have so, you're, it's like you're hoping and praying. You're holding on and you're waiting for this person to reciprocate. This person is insincere. They are a bully. They, they, they're not going to. And it feels like you're refusing to accept the truth. There you go. That's the Knight of Swords reverse. It's like, it's untruthful. That's why I said I was trying to get to it. It's like, because you're so in love with, it feels like there's some sort of obsession here, especially with the Four of Pentacles. If you were to look up that card, the Four of Pentacles probably is an obsession, maybe an infatuation. So I'm not sure if you are in, obsessed or infatuated with somebody that uh, you've been waiting for this person to reciprocate or give something to you. This person doesn't, the Knight of Swords reverse, this person may not be interested and you're just, Maybe you're clueless to the situation. I'm just, I'm just being honest, okay? The Knight of Swords reversed is, is clueless, okay? I feel, I feel like uh, you're in your emotions. You're really in your emotions. You're really, I don't know if you're in love with somebody that. On their side, Ace of Cups reversed. Maybe they're not emotionally available. Maybe they're they're not in love with you. I mean, I'm, I I just gotta I gotta be honest. Okay, that's a a loss of emotional content. It's not love. Okay, it's a lack of love. It's a lack of emotion. Um, and I feel like whoever you're dealing with, and then when you get the Queen of Wands underneath that Ace of Cups reversed, Queen of Wands symbolizes another woman. It could be another man, another person, okay? Whoever you are dealing with, uh, whoever you are asking about that you are hanging on to for dear life, I feel like they are sleeping, and I see that with that Nine of Swords with somebody else. I feel like you, or if they're not sleeping, they are dealing with somebody else. It may not be sleeping. I do feel like we have somebody here that is ill as well. I feel like they have a lot of regrets. They're sick. They're sick. Um, there's some sort of sickness here. Um, and I do think there's another woman. I also feel like you're dealing with somebody that cries a lot because of that Queen of Wands next to the Ace of Cups reversed. There could be a lot of tears, regrets, a lot of regrets. Maybe somebody uses emotions to get what they want. Um, I do believe that we have somebody here that is extremely ill. I feel like it's a, it's a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person may end up in the hospital. I'm not sure how you are connected to this person. But there's somebody here that... Um, is refusing to change they're refusing to uh budge and they it feels like they're going to i see a hospital here i feel like somebody it's like this is somebody who is very set in their ways this and i feel like there's somebody here that's going to end up in the hospital because they're refusing to change their ways and i don't i don't know how that resonates with any of this but i really need to say it because of this nine of swords I mean, it really looks like a hospital bed to me it looks like a hospital bit bed um i also see that uh there's tears there's sadness there's regrets you may be even having some regrets you know what if in waking up at night and worried about something you know, maybe you're really worried about an outcome. I think that you need to be strong. You are going to need to be strong during this time. You definitely are. Um, there could be an, there could be a fight, an upcoming fight with that seven of wands. That's right in the middle. That's some sort. That is a fight. Okay, that that's a challenge. It's opposition. You're going to be facing some opposition this week. You are. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I feel like uh, somebody may be relocating with the Seven of Pentacles. They may be relocating, may have to do with a family member. 
Um, there's a lack of healing here. There's a lack of healing. We have somebody here that is sick. I feel like this person is, I don't know. I feel like we have a relationship that is coming to an end. Somebody's going to be going someplace else. And I don't know how that resonates with you, but they're, they're going to, and there could also be a reconciliation between family members. So I don't know how that resonates either, but there could be a reconciliation between family members. Somebody could end up in the hospital. Or they could end up in jail. That could be a hospital bed or it could be a jail. Um, there probably is going to be a battle. Um, we have somebody here that is definitely, uh, maybe even out of control. They're out of control. They're in their emotions. They pick a fight. Somehow you're involved in this fight. You get involved in this argument. Um, this is, this is somebody that's doing something very, very suddenly. And I know I'm changing the story, but as I just look at all these cards, I feel like there's, there is drama here. We did have a drama queen. There is somebody that is going to invoke some drama. You are going to be caught off guard. It could be it could be another woman, it could be another man, okay? Whoever, it's, a, it's, it's, it's somebody that shouldn't be involved but is, okay? So how, I don't know, this person is involved for some reason. Um, and I feel like this person is going to, whether, and you could be the drama queen. So if, the, if this is the cross watcher, if the, you're the cross watcher and you're watching this, Libra could be the drama queen. There is going to be drama this week and somehow Libra is involved. And this does have to do with sexual matters, okay? We could have somebody here that is upset over an investment. They're not getting the love that they thought they were going to get and they act hysterical, you know, this is somebody that is looking for love. That is looking for a relationship. Maybe they get rejected and they do something. It's called like negative attention. And, you know, it ends with some serious regrets. Some I do see serious regrets here. Um, somebody could even end up in court, okay? That contract card is right on top of that nine of swords. This, there could be a court order that orders somebody into the a hospital. You know, sometimes that happens. Or they order somebody to jail or whatever it is. So this is like a order. Um, there's something emotional that is happening. It's extremely emotional with that ace of cups reversed. This does have to do with investment into a relationship. I feel like we have somebody here that really wants a relationship and they pick a fight. They pick a fight in some way. Now it could be the Libra that's picking a fight or it could be the other person that is picking a fight. I feel like, I, I feel like we have a good buy here as well. I do, I feel like we have a good buy here because this is what that looks like to me. When you see him, it's like, goodbye, bye. So it feels like, I feel like somebody is gonna be saying goodbye to something. Relocating because of that seven of pentacles. It's like this season is over, time's up, done waiting. There's done, 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 done. Knight of pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is an offer. It's a stable offer, an offer of security. Somebody is going to be receiving a secure opportunity, an opportunity to build or lay a new foundation. This is security. That is an opportunity for security. Somebody is going to be re getting an opportunity for security from an individual that is very grounded, that is hardworking, that has some sort of skill. This is a skill of some sort. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that has worked hard to obtain, you know, their, or work on their career. They've worked on their business. They've worked on their job. They've worked hard up until now. Um, they may be giving somebody this, but it looks like this Knight of Pentacles is giving somebody an opportunity. 
they're giving somebody an offer, okay? They, they may be making a proposal or a job offer, somebody or an, a new home or something that leads to security. So somebody's gonna be getting, this is something long-term, they're getting an offer that leads to long-term security, long-term stability, it, lo it leads to something permanent. So somebody is getting a permanent offer or they've gotten a permanent offer. It's your person. Now your person may have given somebody something permanent and you're struggling to accept it. You know, you're struggling to let go. So I feel like this week you need to really think about what you deserve. You need to stop investing in a dead end if you're dealing with somebody that is already in another relationship and they are securing it maybe even to the next level. I think whoever you're dealing with is securing a new contract. That's This is their side. And I feel like you're struggling. You're, there's some sort of obsession. The Four of Pentacles is obsession, obsessed with, with holding on to it, you know? And I feel like you've been, maybe that's where the imagination comes in. Maybe you've been hoping and praying and trying to manifest. I mean, this Four of Pentacles is, is interesting. He's holding that manifestation, trying to manifest something. So I feel like you've been trying to manifest something that, you know, you're trying to ma manifest a fresh start or a new beginning, you know, maybe even doing magic or whatnot, trying to get somebody to give you what, uh, you know, the love that they do not have good intentions for. Anyhow, I feel like you need to protect yourself. I feel like you need to accept the truth. I feel like... Uh, you also have somebody else here that this could be somebody new over here, a new sexual partner that is offering you something. They're offering you something solid. They're offering you something stable. You need to open your heart. I feel like you need to open your heart. You need to go with the flow. This could lead to a long-term permanent relationship with somebody, but I feel like you're struggling. I feel like you're in mental despair. You're in mental anguish over a previous contract. Okay, holding on to a previous contract. This is a karmic contract. So I feel like this week you need to step down from your previous position and stop focusing on proving something. Maybe you're just proving it to yourself. I don't know. Maybe it's ego. Okay, you have another opportunity here. You absolutely do. And it's worth investing in because it can lead to long-term happiness. It absolutely can. But you have to master your emotions and you have to be grounded. You have to come out of fantasy land. So I feel like this week you're going to be in some sort of anguish. I do. I think you're going to be in anguish. Um, because you have such big feelings for somebody that is untrustworthy okay that's why the knight of swords is reversed and i feel like you haven't been logical about the situation because of your romanticizing the situation i mean the knight of swords reverse is not logical it's it's clueless and you can point the finger at the other person all you want but if you're still obsessed with somebody well you can't blame so anybody else for that but yourself so I feel like it's time to invest in new territory. It's time to invest in a new relationship. You are being given an opportunity right now to start over with somebody. I believe this is somebody new. I feel like um, you're going to be really in your emotions. You may be crying, you know, because this is, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to let go of something that you fought so long for. So yeah, I think there's gonna be some mental anguish. I think there's gonna be some tears. And I feel like you're gonna be put in a position where you have to think about what you really deserve during this time. Do you deserve to be with somebody that's not communicating with you, that is abusing you mentally, using manipulation, that sees that you love them, you know, and is using that? They, they, know, they, they can play you because they know that you love them so much. Is that what you're worth? 
Are you worth somebody who's going to invest in you and uh, is going to give you something solid? What's it going to be?